Hello everyone, Cherie Wayman here from Fankel Made. I'm just doing this quick video to give you an idea where you can find help within the Silhouette Studio itself. Obviously you found YouTube and the videos here, but sometimes you actually want to read or see something a little closer to home. And what we can do is we can go up to the screen and look over to the top and on the help option there you have a user's manual an introduction and tutorials they're the three we're going to look at so if we click on user's manual hopefully you'll have found this already as a newbie but if you don't haven't then here it is and it's very compre comprehensive, uh, giving you most of the utilities that you can have within the Silhouette Studio and how to work with them. If I uh, need to have some additional help in perhaps something I'm drawing, I will refer back to the manual. I find that very helpful. On the help, we also talked about introduction. If we click on that, this is something that I'd never really bothered to look at before, but you can see that it's giving you um, information on what's new within the current version. And to be fair, as I say, I haven't looked at this before, but I, perhaps it's there to support the user manual that may not have been updated at that point. But it also gives you a heads up on what you can use now. If we click on the next, it's running through a couple of techniques that uh, is now available to you. Okay, let's close that one down. And thirdly, there are tutorials within this software. And again, if we click on that, we get this quite basic looking menu and if we hover over the different titles it explains to you what the tutorial is. So for example let's click on this one it's sticky notes. Down here in the left hand corner you have this uh, little screen uh, replicating the Silhouette Studio screen and it, there's no volume but it's showing you at the bottom here what it's going to do or what it's telling you to find within the screen itself. And you just navigate through with the arrows and it takes you to the next stage in order to create a sticky note in this case. Typing on it, adjusting the size, moving the sticky note and saving the sticky note. In fact, I do use this uh, quite a lot, especially when I'm working on a project and I want to save some notes that are not immediately available to you within the design itself. So it might be what font I've used, what size of font, what paper I'm using in the project and therefore to repeat it in future attempts. So... It's good to have a little sticky note and you keep it uh, away from your work design space over on the grey area. Um, as I said, there are lots of tutorials here to look through and even if you think you know something, it's well worth checking them out just to see if there's something that you hadn't really sort of realised or um, captured before. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I feel that at, for the guys out there watching this YouTube, you obviously like to have visual tutorials, which I do, but I do like to have a, a booklet, a manual or something else to refer back to as well because that reinforces what you know and it might be that uh, the tutorial itself Perhaps even mine isn't explaining exactly what you want. You go back to the manual and you'll be able to drill down a little bit more and uh, try and work it out. I hope this has been helpful to you. And if you like this tutorial and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for listening today.
Bye for now.